What's up guys, welcome back again, I'm your boy BDS Adam Slink, welcome back to another video, I hope you guys are doing okay, please try as much as possible to like this video, comment, share it on all streaming platforms, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at Adam Slink Media, and make sure you subscribe, then click that bell notification to get updated anytime I upload. So guys, it's a beautiful Saturday morning, and of course, I have a bunch of things I want to discuss with you guys, but first, you guys know this uh, popular comedian, she's 10 years old. Emanuela from uh, Mac Angel Comedy. Yesterday it was revealed that this little girl, 10 years old, though, recently built, single handedly built a mansion for herself and her parents, including her brother. Single handedly, a 10 years old. So she, uh, unveil the mansion of course it's a mansion i don't care what you guys say as i know you guys will be like this is not a mansion it's a terrible new flat or bungalow or anything but it's a mansion it's a mansion to our man and uh come on 10 years old guys 10 years old building a, a, a house like that man i saw it i was so 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 super super proud of her man like 10 years old when I was 10 years old, I was still in primary school, yeah, primary, yeah, I just, I, I'm just leaving primary school to GSS. I didn't even have a dime in my account, I didn't even have an account. But here's a young, beautiful child, Manuela, building a mansion for ease, for her parents. And of course, all time to Mark Angel, man, she, he is the person that started all this. I know before, there were rumors that Mark Angel was underpaying Emanuela uh, and to success and other crew members that were working with him in that uh, comedy China. He, was be, he has been accused numerous times of duping, of carrying the bigger share. Of course, he has to carry the bigger share being the being the head of the of, of the crew but he was being accused of overdoing it like short pain there in Manuela but seeing this seeing what uh, Manuela is doing Manuela recently bought a car on her birthday recently she turned 10 she bought a car for herself and now she's building a house for her parents when I was 10 years old guys okay just leave your comment below and tell me exactly what you were doing when you were 10 years old just leave your comment below guys tell me exactly if you can still remember exactly what you were doing while you were 10 years old I me mean, i had no dime in my pocket no single dime here is parents who are already reaping from the success of their 10 years old daughter well like i've said before all times to Mark Angel because he is the one that started this this old thing like he was the first ever comedian to come on YouTube and say okay I can bring kids together I can bring this and this and that together and we can make beautiful content and it, and he started with Emanuela he was doing it alone but when he brought Emanuela into the into the crew that was when everything just blew Emanuela came in, everything blew then I think success that little girl came in again and everything and the success for them well i'm so happy for the crew i'm so happy for them and i uh, hope they keep continuing building up their family and a congratulation to Emanuela, man it's not easy it's never ever easy here we have man how many of you let us be frank how many of us can sit down and boast of a land let's just be honest how many of us can sit down to boast say yeah i have so, -so land i have so, -so property i have so, -so this uh, none it, like a few a few so i'm not trying to discriminate anybody though i'm not trying to do that because everybody has this on our own time a uh, timing and you see people at the age of five say making crazy millions there are children at the age of five making crazy millions there are people at the age of 60 60 that's when they will be making their own money there are, there are people individuals at the age of 30 
I just want God to bless them. There are people 40, no, it depending on the age, it don't really matter. So don't over pressure yourself. We'll say, you might rather build it, uh, 10 years of build a house, so it will be worked up. No, 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 no. Your time is coming. Just keep doing what you're doing, and God will bless you appropriately. So don't try to work yourself out, saying, Manuela bought a house, bought a car, so what am I doing? No, no, everybody are different. God gave you your own kind of work differently. So, Meanwhile, congratulations to her and her entire family. This is a really milestone. And meanwhile, uh, Esmas is coming again. And of course, am I the only one who thinks that Esmas, the people who celebrate Christmas, the people who actually celebrate Christmas are mostly tips. Like the people who celebrate any celebration, Valentine, Christmas, Salah, New Year, all those people are mostly thieves. But not mostly, sure, but majority are thieves. Or even majority, are some are thieves. Because during, in fact, majority are thieves in Nigeria. Because during Hesmas, during all those periods, you see people will start increasing prices of things. Commodity, uh, food stuff, people will start increasing them. Fue, uh, shares increase. And they are trying to take fue increment to 200 naira. They are increasing it step by step. Step by step. Before it was 160 something, they took it to once another on 168. Then they took it to 170 yesterday. They are going to 200. So watch and see. Before Christmas, the mind go to 200. And people keep going out there to thief during this Christmas. Any celebration, not mostly Christmas, any celebration, you see people stealing, kidnapping, high rate of uh, hijacker, hijacking, a high increase of price in the market, a high, everything is costly in, in, in Nigeria. So automatically, majority of people who actually celebrate Christmas and all the other celebrations are mostly tips. They don't celebrate it out of love. They don't celebrate it out of anything. They just want to accumulate wealth so that they can use for their own selfish interests during those time. Okay, why is it that December there will be increase of prices? Then as soon as January, February, you will see decrease in price. I know because of the huge, because of the huge demand. That is one, of course, it will affect the inflow of things. But it's about time people start. When you say, I'm celebrating Christmas, Abby, to celebrate Christmas to the birth of Jesus Christ, and you are a Christian. So it's about time you also put that into consideration. Well, no, but we always know, know Nigeria as to be one of the most religious countries who pray the most, and yet also the most, one of the most wicked people. Set of pepe persons. And meanwhile, this is what Tacha has to say concerning this whole thing. It's a sieve. In fact, I'm convinced that Nigeria is programmed to make people suffer, as in legit. You have to just be suffering right now. If you're not suffering, man, I don't know how you're doing it, but everybody's legit suffering. Everything highly expensive. When they went as high as this, people could not even afford it, let alone now. You can imagine. Regular onion. There's a regulatory body in this country that doesn't do shit. Doesn't regulate shit. Something that is 100 naira today can cost 800 naira tomorrow. What type of country is this where people have to just, you just have to suffer. Next month is December, it just doesn't even feel like Xmas is coming. Uh, she said Nigeria is like it's programmed to make people suffer. Yeah, I honestly believe that. Uh, Reno Mockery said, Ladies, don't trade love for money. He said, uh, Dear ladies, help your man to grow so you can glow by his side. Even if you are his fiancé, you should not make him your fiancé. Don't be a trader. Trading love for money. Be a supporter, provide him a shoulder to lean on. Let him rise because of you. Now, this is a really difficult thing for women to be doing because they think like 
when they help a man rise, the man will definitely just leave them and go for any woman. Well, uh, the life is, is not balanced. So do what you want to do. If you want, keep going out there, collecting from men, doing your stuff and not uh, investing on your man. And if you want to, keep investing on your man. So whoever will reap what he has sold, we surely reap it. So guys, uh, because no matter how you talk to our ladies, they're still gonna do what they feel like is best for them. And also to end this video, let me just read what Emanuela wrote concerning this particular blessing. She said, I build this for you, mom, for all the prayers, all the encouragement and support. Mommy, I know you said you want a portable house and this is it, but forgive me because I must complete your mansion for your next year. Don't worry, it won't make us go to hell. My super Christmas, mommy, I love you. In fact, she is saying that she's still gonna build another big mansion for uh for a mom. Like this is just a start. Well, uh congratulations to her once again and make sure you like this video guys, comment, share it on all streaming platform, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam's link me down so Try as much as possible to subscribe, then click that bell notification to get updated anytime I upload.